I'm from the Northern Cheyenne Nation in Montana. We have a little reservation, beautiful little reservation, southeastern corner of Montana. Um, and we call ourselves the Tsitsa Suta people. Um, and um, I came into to the art kind of realm, and I really see myself as continuing this way of creating that's you know thousands of years old and um, really trying to contribute to to a way of making uh, in this time period you know keep that going and and uh, hopefully uh, when people look back at this time period they can kind of tell what was going on and what the challenges were for my people and us so in the pevot piece um, I, I kind of go and try to grab the essence of that iconography in the forms that are there and also, that was a time period where I was casting a lot of metal, and I was really interested in that, that process of casting as a metaphor, you know. Um, and so the, the stone piece that's in the center of the, the metal in, in the Pevot piece, I built that into the, into the mold itself before I poured the metal around it. And so when I poured the metal, it, it sort of had to survive that heat and fire of the molten aluminum and um, and so for me that was a, a, a metaphor for who I am as a Cheyenne person I'm surrounded by this new kind of contemporary world and that, and so the the marble would kind of represent me or my people and we have to we had to survive a fire kind of of sorts to still be here and uh, we figured out ways to do that and um, and a lot of it had to do with the power of those symbols, the power of our interpretation of the, and our relationship to the natural world. You know, we were able to um, sort of negotiate our way through that difficulty with that knowledge. Um, and so that's what it kind of represents for me is, is uh, we're, we're in this world now. We still have this way of believing and understanding the natural world and the world around us. And then we're surrounded by um, a new kind of culture, you know, and we're finding ways to coexist.